In this video, I'm going to show you an alternate way to write an expression. Now, this is a simple power automate flow, which has a manually trigger uh, placed at the top and an action send an email. Now here, if you want to display the date time, what, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the body or maybe a subject line and then you'll click on effects, right? This is how you click on effects and then you uh, just type the function, right? So you put an expression. Now here you can type in UTC now and the function, okay? And the moment you click on save, what happens is uh, you'll see a nice visual over here which will show you that this is a function. And then once you save this and run this, then uh, an email will be sent with the uh, date time uh, embedded in it. Okay, so let me test this. Click on test, run the flow. And uh, you should see an email with the date time functionality. Now, this is a stock standard thing, uh, which you are going to use like a function formula pane. Uh, but what if you want to write the same function over here in this rich text box? Okay. Now here, uh, if I want to write the same function UTC now, uh, this will not execute. Okay. This will not execute this function. So if you want to execute this function in a rich text box without even going into the formula pane, what you can do, you can put an add the rate symbol, open curly brace, put some space close curly brace and then copy this okay so if i copy this text over here the same thing okay so this is like whatever you write in the formula bar goes here at the rate opening brace closing brace and save this and now let's test this okay now let me first close this and let me remove this text okay And I'll remove the spaces. And also, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this uh, function as well. Okay. So I'm going to just remove this and I'll remove all the other things. I'll click on save. And I'll Remove the space, remove the space. And let's see if the error goes away or not. So let me remove all the space and click on save. Still, it says that fix invalid expression for the input parameters of operations and an email. Okay. And now uh, this error has disappeared. Okay. So just close this and save it. And I'll click on test and then we can run this. And once you click on done, then you'll receive an email with the same thing. You got that UDC functionality, right? You got the UDC time uh, as a body line by just using the same command okay so if you want to write something in line uh, you just need to use add the rate opening brace put your function inside it and then the closing brace uh, so this is like one way to uh, play around with a function within your rich text now does this work every time okay so take for example if i have uh, add an action over here and if i have a compose action Now here, if I want an input for this compose action, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on FX and I'll put UTC now as a function. Right. Save and let me just click on save and test this. And I've ran this flow and this flow has executed successfully. If you see the compose, the output is input is this and the output is this, right? So we have used the compose action now.
Now, let me go ahead and edit this and I'll keep this compose action as it is, but I will add an, another compose action. And this time, instead of making use of this function pane or adding an expression, I'm gonna just use at the rate, opening, closing. And here, I'll just type UTC now. Okay, like how we did earlier for like the email functionality, right, in the body line. I'll click on save. And the flow is ready. Test and run the flow. Done. So the first one is using the expression uh, window, which which we tested. Like this is working fine. Let's see what happens in this compose action. Okay, if you click on this compose action, now you see it does not get evaluated. It treats this as a string. Okay, and that's why the input is this output is this. So remember, just wanted to show you and then uh, demonstrate to you that it uh, won't work at all the places. So in an email, yes, it will work. But if there are other controls, then it will not work. So I'd like to know more in the comments, like if you have tested in other controls, uh, what is the behavior? So uh, if possible, you guys can put a comment around it. And uh, with that, we can build a documentation around. Uh, how this old expression syntax works in which control and which actions it doesn't work. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically utilize uh, uh, a script, basically, to uh, run your functions in Power Automate. Thanks for watching.